This is the free motion quilting tutorial for a cube storm. This design starts with a zigzaggy line and then you're going to swirl that into a square shape. Kind of hit that point and then echo all the way back around the line that you just created. You're just expanding it by one line by that little bit of distance. You keep that kind of consistent all the way throughout. And then you'll travel stitch along the edge of your starting line and come back up and around. Now it's really up to you how you stitch this. You can either do these lines of echo quilting first and fill in the square later or you can fill it in immediately after stitching the square. It's really entirely up to you. But regardless, at some point in the design go inside of the square and fill it with little squares. And this is a design I like to call cubing. Kind of like pebbling only it's with cubes. Anyway, um, so you fill it with all these little squares and just be careful to kind of travel stitch around and make it consistent. Uh, I kind of aimed for the squares to be rather small in this design simply because my starting square, the square that they were fitting all into, was fairly small. Uh, but really it's entirely up to you. Just kind of play with it and see what you like to create with this design. Then all you do is to simply stitch, tra keep travel stitching, keep echoing around this shape, around this large square jagged line spiral. Just simply expanding those lines and you want to watch it. If the lines start getting too long, if you are finding it very difficult to keep them straight and uh, not let them get too wiggly and wobbly, then just simply start to consider branching off in a new direction. And you can see I'm filling in this little weird area right here with more straight lines. That's pretty much the best way to keep this consistent. Now, uh, now I've just stitched a new kind of straight jagged line and I'm going to go into this area and fill this with some cubing. And this time I filled the cubing in first and then I stitched the echo stitching. Like I said, it really doesn't matter what order you do that in, just as long as at some point you fill this in. And you could fill in the square with really any design you want to fill it in. If you wanted to fill it with circles, if you wanted to fill it with triangles, it really it changes the design. Any design that you put in the center will change the effect of it, but it's really fun to just kind of play with that and see what you can come up with. So now we're going to fast forward on a little bit further in the design and you can see how things start to take shape. And it has a really neat effect. I love the texture of this design on the surface of your quilt. And filling in the weird areas are a bit tricky. The best thing to do is just kind of keep stitching some squares occasionally, some jagged lines. And if you can't fit anything into a space at all, just stitch straight lines or a jagged line, just like V shapes, and keep those echoes kind of consistent with the rest of the design. And it will look just fine. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Cube Storm. For over 350 videos on free motion quilting, check out the Free Motion Quilting Project at freemotionproject.com.